ground. Ben and Aisha, you can see the DNC convention playing over my shoulders as Democratic state leaders took over Dunkin' Donuts Park this evening, all very hopeful for Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden. Democratic delegates from across Connecticut joined by state leaders, including Governor Lamont. Let Joe be Joe tonight. You don't have to hit it out of the park. Just be Joe. Congresswoman Rosa DeLauro. Joe Biden walks in the shoes of the American people. Lieutenant Governor Bysowitz. Senator Murphy and Attorney General Tong gathering to support Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden and Democratic vice presidential nominee Kamala Harris. I know that they are going to bring competence and compassion um, and character to the Oval Office. You know, it's a, a unity ticket that will offer a, a very progressive um, vision and um, also will, you know, has laid out a, a con contrast with um, uh, Donald Trump. All expressing a need for change in the Oval Office, which they say the Democratic pair is capable of. In Hartford, Connecticut, which is where I live, uh, for, for black and brown residents who are uh, worried about their future in this country, uh, it's, it's a sign of assurance that this country is with them. Attorney General Tong also emphasizing the importance of absentee ballot voting for the upcoming election and calling out Trump's efforts to undermine the U.S. Postal Service. This election, that issue focuses this more than, than anything, frankly. The integrity of our elections and making sure that this election is fair, transparent, and accurate. And all Connecticut voters are eligible to vote via absentee ballots, and the presidential election will be held November 3rd. We'll live at Dunkin' Donuts Park in Hartford. Sam Maldonado, Fox 61 News.